still have a time to put your clothes on or so, i don't know guys where's the condom i was hey guys good morning good morning people so today we are here in manila and i'm gonna show you guys to the place where i stay for a night so i accidentally uh found this one i'm actually guys the driver is the one who sent me here i supposed to check and it happened unfortunately they don't accept me it because i am not fully vaccinated so yeah that's why uh, i've been trying to search a hotel in the middle of the night and all is fully booked and this is the only available the hotel 2016 and i guess it's worth it so i'm gonna show you guys the place so this is how it looked like outside guys so this place it's like 20 minutes walk going to u.s embassy so it's kind of quiet here and this is the hotel there's a budget suite room 999 pesos but i paid 1200 guys it because i'm going to stay here only for uh, 12 hours i'm gonna check out at one and that's the name of the hotel 216 manila <laughs> this is how it looked like outside so if you're going to stay here for overnight it costs 1700 pesos and it is free meals and that's the reception area guys all stuff here are really good they are very friendly they are very accommodating guys so so i guess um this hotel it's kind of a love hotel <laughs> i'm gonna tell you more why later so this is how it look like like if you are if you have a car guys and you're gonna check in here uh <laughs> you can park your car over there if you are doing um if you have a secret affair <laughs> and let's go to next floor because that's where our room located so let's go that's our room so this is our room so that's when you open the door that's the thing that you saw that's where you can put your bags or something so this is the main door and there's another door guys you know so I guess they do it in purpose so if you are if you have a secret affair and you're legal wife will just come they cannot just open easily so you guys still have a time to put your clothes on or the other girl or the guy can hide <laughs> so this is how it look like bedroom it's comfortable aircon work really good there's a desk over there so the bed it's kind of miss not because uh i'm making love there <laughs> because i am alone i cannot make love to myself alone it is just like i don't know how i miss that one there's a table and there's a complimentary guys two water water and toothpaste and toothbrush soap and there's a condom i don't know where's the condom Hello? okay so there's a free condom here guys but i don't know where's the condom Boy, I don't know where's the condom. Where's the condom? <laughs> this is how it look like here inside. Wi-Fi, it's super, super good here. It's really good. And this is the toilet. It's pretty big. It's look small outside, but inside, guys, it's really um, good. The toilet work good. The heater works really good. That yeah it's really work good everything here there's a free condom that's why i consider this one as um love hotel so i don't know guys where's the condom i was laughing last night when i arrived here that there's a free condom and when i just saw the room guys i assume that this one is um love hotel <laughs> it because you know the way how it look and you know and 
of course there's a condom the condom is the one who make me make me you know make me confirm that okay this one is a love you know love hotel and they have a menu guys that you can check if you want to eat here so this is the menu that they have it's a little bit pricey but if you're so lazy to go out you can order actually this morning i tried their um what's that uh spanish something spanish food and it costs 205 and it's worth it it's very delicious and the uh, service here it's really fast and really good i do love it here guys like if you are not alone and if you are not scared to this type of uh, hotel i highly recommend that you guys should stay here because the crew it's very friendly and accommodating and the reason only guys why i wouldn't stay here until tomorrow i'm going to stay here in manila until tomorrow but i wouldn't stay here for two nights it because uh, there is no window and for some reason guys i have a hard time sleeping i'm not a close pro what's that thingy but still i feel good or i feel comfortable if there is a window but there's no window here so and it seems like the even how big the room is it seems like suffocating to me so i better we're gonna transfer so that i will be comfortable for my stay here in manila so yeah that's it for today's vlog and i hope i give you a good tour here to my place and yeah bye bye see you next time